plus six. Oh, there we go. There's one of them. This one moves. Usually, usually they are placed in one area. They just, uh, they just set up the room pretty much. This one seems to move. So I need to get uh, more, <laughs> get back into doing the uh, transform attacks again because they, they obviously do so much more damage. There's a rune there. I believe the C runes are one of the defense runes, so they might be like um, either physical or resistances. Physical to him. So I think these are the three. Um, three guys down here that uh, I spent ages looking for before, but uh, I've already grabbed the item over there, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it for now. The bloodstone shard. Right, so I'm going to drop down this way. This way. Yes. Or if I can. So down this way. Okay, so there's these these enemies here, the uh, the aliens. Most of them are the type that really does do pretty much nothing, but I think these guys can actually drop pretty decent. Um, I think it's triangle uh, bolt gems and stuff like that. It's uh, these guys. These guys here can be a little annoying because they do have. Arcane spells. I think they just dropped it there. Maybe, maybe it isn't only arcane though. That was a physical one, I believe. So I think they drop like either physical arcane bolt fire gems or something, um, and you can get them pretty early. So if you do need triangle gems, that's a pretty good place to get them. Okay. And I think I'm forced to go down this way, this path now. Yeah, this is one of the areas I'm least familiar with, because I usually just run through and then I'm like... <laughs> because it is kind of a big area to explore everything in here, and the items you get are okay, but some of them are just not worth it. I believe there is a grave... Um, is it grave set? I can't remember if it gives you... I think it gives you a lot of uh, Frenzy Resist, if I recall correctly. I did a there. I think, I, I think the Gravesite gives you a lot of uh, Frenzy Resist, which can be useful in certain areas. But I may have already passed it, unfortunately. And another one of these guys. Okay, so here's the elevator. So this is the one we passed. Um, it's actually not that close to the boss, I would say. Uh, you still got to do quite a bit of running. But uh, this is back to the area we were a bit uh, before. So I want to see how much damage I'm doing with Black Sky Eye. So that pig uh, we saw earlier, I'll probably just uh, actually try to hit it with it. So there's an enemy down this way. Running away. What's up this way, actually? I think this is the other way down to this area. Yeah, because I am up there. I think this is the uh, the way you're supposed to go. I, I kind of dropped off, um, which probably isn't the way to uh, you should be going. This guy seems to spawn snakes as well. I've very rarely seen that as well, because he usually just beats the shit out of you. 
those those snakehead enemies can be really tough when you're coming through this area for the first time. Um, if you haven't uh, like grinded much or anything like that, it's, they are really annoying. So, this enemy to die. Oh. Yeah, th with these enemies as well, you kind of want to um, pass them and attack from behind because they. Um, they, they turn quite slowly. There's a lot of blood shards in this area. Um, there are frenzy cold blood. I have a bunch of cold blood. I'm just sitting on. That's the. Th oh god. <laughs> there. I got a bunch of cold blood, but honestly I have enough echoes in general, so I don't really care about it. Okay, so we're gonna go back down to the other area. I know, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. Ah, I think the grave set's up there, but I think you need, do need to make a jump in order to uh, hit it. So I'm probably gonna miss it completely. Um, that's where I was before. So is it this one? Clear out these enemies. Um, I think it's over this way. Oh, oh, I thought I missed it there. Graveguard mask. And is the other one just down here, I guess? Yeah, so there's the Grave Guard set. I knew it was somewhere in here. Um, oh. <laughs> that was kind of weird. I'm like falling down here. That's weird. Okay, um, so what does this actually have? I said Frenzy Resist, but I'm not sure. Um, where is it? Graveyard. Yeah, I think it has uh, good frenzy resist. Although I did see one that was better there. This one. It's got good bolt resist as well. That's why I remember uh, using it for because um, I was having trouble with the uh, Winter Lanterns, the worst enemy in the game. I'm not even lying when I say that to be honest. They're just so annoying. Okay, so back this way. So, let's get Black Sky out of here. That's good damage, like, just in general. 400. It only costs one bullet. You can just sit there spamming forever. And on some Chalice uh, dungeons, uh, bosses, like, that's that's how you perform as an arcane build is you just spam black sky eye or executioner gloves and that just takes care of all your problems. When you get to higher levels I definitely think that arcane is uh, just so good in general. Um, if you want to do the chalice dungeons and you want to have an easier time I would suggest it. Just because executioner gloves and stuff like that is just so good. Blood vials. This is the way down to the boss now. And we even have a NPC. But I think there is an art ruin up here, isn't there? Although I might have to go around and drop down. I hope I don't need to. No, I can't. Open it yet. And another one of these guys. He can't even transform. That's how fast I kill them now. Or NPC. Ah, the Madaris twin. Okay. Um, so I think that's everything here. I'm pretty sure I missed quite a few items, but uh, I, well, I know I missed the cannon and stuff like that. I can't remember how you get up to that. I really can't. Is there anything up here? Is this anything? Oh, there's a snake down there. Okay. Yes, I'll kill him. 
I don't know. It doesn't look like he was hiding anything, I mean, he's not, but why not? Uh, there's another guy. Okay. I think we're about done here. So we'll drop back down here and go past the gate. So, the boss coming up. They're not too tough um, in general. Um, you might want to get to the point where you're killing. Um, I, I think killing two of them at the first phase, or getting one of them to low health and killing the other. Um, so in, ca in case you uh, you don't know, I've kind of spoiled it already. And it is a multi-boss fight, so there is three enemies. I can't remember which is which. I think the guy in the middle is the mage. Who generally, I prefer to uh, take out first, although he's being kind of annoying with his attacks there. There we go. Yeah, this one seems like it. So, ah, it's actually a low health to get their stink heads. Okay. So I'm going for this guy next. Um, he has kind of like weird, um, yeah, those attacks like that. Oh god. So let's actually try. Oh, this is a bit of a slippery so far. Oh god, that's the other thing is you can quite easily get trapped in this uh, this area. So let, let's uh, let's try using the gloves. See how much uh, if they actually they do track. Okay, that's so much damage. Yeah, there we go. Gloves is okay. He seemed to be, or at least the uh, the first guy seemed to be dodging uh, Black Sky Eye. Um, Fairly well. The transform attack is just so good. The delayed swings on this guy can be kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, we're over for this fight. It's not really. I was just kind of messing around there and. Uh, yeah. So that's the end of the Forbidden Woods. Um, now we're going to be going into Bergenworth, and Bergenworth is pretty uh, small area in general, but uh, it does progress the great game after you do complete it, so that's nice. Um, yeah, as I recall, the last thing I did in the DLC is I I farmed those bolt gems, but I did not go ahead to get to the uh, last two DLC bosses that I have to do. So. We'll eventually be doing that, um, but right now we're going to progress with the main game as it is. <coughs> Alright, so we're going back to Bergenworth here. I spent some of the echoes I had, but uh, it wasn't to level up or anything like that. So, I also didn't um, reach the beggar in the last episode of uh, Forbidden Wood. Um, I'm not entirely sure how you get to him again. It's at the top of a building, I believe. But uh, that was probably <laughs> something that I completely missed. Uh, and it's been a while, so... Yeah. So, there is kind of a few annoying enemies here. Ones that inflict frenzy if they jump on you. Um, there's only one enemy t between the last lantern, but... Yeah. So, are these guys weak to bolt at all? They are, I, I, they are quite weak. Yeah, I actually had enough to like max out completely the uh, amount of blood vials that I have and quicksilver bullets. So we might actually be seeing that message quite a bit. Up here is, uh, I believe, yes, a brain sucker here. But he just got absolutely destroyed by bolt or fire, really, at this stage. Jeez, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna deplete them eventually anyway, so yeah. Speaking of which this thing here. I don't know if they're weak to anything. Oh god. This fucking ambush over here. Oh, the one's still alive. Um yeah, let's try using gloves on this guy, I guess. I don't know if he's weak to arcane, he probably isn't, considering uh, he does fire uh, arcane spells, but uh, yeah. Oh god. 
Why did you rotate me like that? Jesus. Okay. So, does this do any damage? It does quite a lot of damage. He doesn't really seem to have that much health, but uh, I think his defense is pretty good. But, uh, it doesn't look like he drops anything. I, th I forget what those are called, those enemies. I know these guys that jump on you are called, like, Garden of Eyes, but... I don't know what the other things are. Yeah, so... Bergenworth... Oh, there's a lever for it. Uh, Bergenworth is a pretty small area in general. So it's, it's really just this one built-in. But we do get to fight, uh, that boss. So yeah, this is how uh, this is how these enemies inflict frenzy on you. Pretty much always going to um, if they do manage to grab you. It's very annoying. And there's some sedatives it gives you, so there you go. So I'm gonna try. There is quite an annoying enemy in this uh, in this area. Go open this chest here. That's for the Chalice Dungeons, I believe. Nothing here. Um, does this actually open? Okay. No, there's nothing here. So, this enemy here. Um, the This hunter uses Herbreus, as we can see. And it also uses the Rosmarinus, which can be very, very annoying. Gonna, we're gonna we're gonna use that as well. Um, because why not? If you do know how to stun lock them, um, Beast Roar is actually very good um, for this fight as well. But uh, they are quite quite quick to use the uh, Rosmarinus there, and it can be very effective at just killing you very quickly if you are in range of it. So, yeah. Um, but if if you do have um, Beast Roar, you can just uh, spam a combo at them because the they, they get stuck in the combo, beast roar, knock them to the ground and repeat. It's very good against most of the hunter enemies in the game. So there's Henrik again. Another student uniform. Um, so we can't open this gate quite yet. Um, we're gonna go get the key now. And we also get the arcane haze. It's not Arcane Haze. I forget what... Uh, oh no, it's called um, Empty Phantasm Shell. It basically just gives your, you an ar a free Arcane buff on your weapon. Um, unfortunately, it's just not very useful for us because we are just using um, elemental weapons instead of uh, just using like normal weapons. But it might be okay if you're on a regular build and you're going to 15 Arcane. I think it's 15. Um, let's see. Yeah, 15. So, you'll notice I can't actually use this on my fire weapon. So, it's pretty useless to us, honestly. Um, maybe if you're doing, like, a combination build, it would be good. Um, so, like, um, skill arcane, or strength arcane. I think strength arcane is generally considered better. But we are a pure arcane, so not that useful for us. So that's that's all that's really here. Um, there's really not that much in this area. Um, we're just gonna go talk to this guy now. He gives you some insight when you talk to him for the first time, like two, um, and it will just point towards the lake. But he does carry on him a very useful rune. So I'm going to have to uh, slaughter him. Everyone does this, to be honest. Um, so the iron is weapon discovery. Uh, not weapon discovery, iron discovery. Um, kind of stacks with the additional discovery we have as an arcane build. Um, it's not on that page, is it? Does it not display it here? No, it does display it as under stamina. So yeah, we get additional um, discovery from being an arcane build. Okay, so ROM time. ROM's weak to lightning, so we're going to use the save. 
So he's gonna spawn. Okay, yeah, we gotta start the fight to begin with. He doesn't spawn spiders immediately. So he'll just sit here forever until you start attacking him, and then he'll try to teleport away basically as soon as he can. But if you can get a pretty good um, initial um, attack on him. So, I don't really like the transform attacks of the safe, so we're just going to R1 spam it, really, to begin with. But you can see just the massive amount of damage that uh, you deal with. So, yeah, he spams spiders a lot, and they're very, very annoying um, to deal with. Where did he spawn? He didn't spawn yet. But, uh, oh, there he is. Ow. Yes. So, is he already... Seriously? You're just gonna spam spells all day? It's, it's okay when I do it, alright? Um, I don't th I don't know if he's particularly weak to arcade in general. This, this boss is really all about the timing, um, and very well there we go. I've already, I've already killed him otherwise, but, uh, yeah, he's always annoying. He's just a very annoying boss in general. But he is pretty weak to bolt. You can also do stuff like, um, oil worm him, and then flame spray him, or use a fire weapon in general. Um, those are all pretty effective against them as well, but uh, Bolt is also very good. So, we're getting to the part of the game where it just goes fucking apeshit, pretty much. But, uh, it is very cool. So, there's going to be a couple NPC quests, actually, that we can take forward. Um, Gilbert, unfortunately, there's not much to that. Um, there's also the crow quest, which I believe I did all the uh, stuff for to begin with. Apparently they are called Covenants. Um, I thought they weren't. Although some, it says some of them are oaths. I don't know. It's kind of weird in its phrasing. So, there we go. Blood Moon activate time. So... And it will actually put us towards um, your her goal. Um, so we're going to go ahead in there. Uh, I believe we can touch the first lander in here. I'm not really going to do too much else, but... Kill the uh, summoners. So yeah, we're going to have to deal with summoners in this part of the level. It's just... So it's down here, I believe. There we go. So yeah, first lantern here. I mean, it's not really much effort to get uh, get into it. So we can come right back here when we need to. What we'll do is we'll go kill um, we'll go kill Gilbert and get the rune that he drops. And then, I'm not sure what we'll continue with, because we can do, uh, I guess we got to do Yara Gul, don't we? I mean, I kind of do want to do Yara Gul anyway, because I think there's like a, a very good 18% uh, old damage rune, um, blood gem there, which actually might still be useful to us. Um, maybe for my, uh, oh, there he is. I like how he's just walking around there. Just <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So Claw Mark, I believe, increases your visceral damage by 20%, I wanna say. So yeah, it's, it's very good. I wonder if I didn't do that. Oh, no sock lever, this one. Um, and wow. All my gems are actually 20% now, because I I just went through those chalice dungeons, so may maybe it won't be useful, but uh, you can see it. Anyway, so I'll go back to the Hunter's Dream, and that'll be it for now.
So yeah, I I think the DLC added quite a the content that the game kind of required because it is fairly short in general. Uh, it's still it's still decent enough for a game like this, but uh, the DLC did add an adequate amount of time really. So I think I'm taking like so many echoes for uh um, for a level up now well, that uh yeah it's like sixty five thousand per level. So I, I am gonna head towards ninety nine arcane and then whatever we have left over can go to whatever basically because really all I need all I want to get to is ninety nine arcane. But uh yeah. So I'll see you guys next time.